you're 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 stupid. Don't don't try to try that crap again. Hello, big guy. Well, actually, he has an oxygen tank on him. What if I just shoot it? Did that do anything? No, not really. All that did was just piss him off. Ah, you're back. Yeah, Sue's back, back, back. Shady's back, back, back. Tell a friend, friend, friend. They down here? Now, if I wanted to end up messing up and completely almost killing myself, I did a perfect job almost of doing that. Is it this? Might be this area. No, okay. Oh, is this the one where there's like a window down below here or something? Yeah, I think it's what it is. But I don't think I had a grappling hook at the time, so now that I do, this probably would make this a lot more convenient. Jump on the trash. Is it here? Sort of. I don't know how he got his bite in. Is it down here? Here? No. God damn it. Through here. Oh, it's the generator room thingy. Now I know where it is. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Aha. Here we go. Uh, I have over 100 hours of Dying Light for playing, like, only for three weeks. Uh, been loving the game so much. I finished the game on Nightmare twice. Really? Awesome. That's sweet. Yeah, I, uh, I played this game back on Xbox, Xbox One, back in 2016, around the game's launch, and I think we played all the way up till the following... I don't remember playing past that because I think that we just didn't really care because this game had like a battle royale game even at one point like I think like that was the last major update it got um but yeah we played the DLC at least to the following we got a lot of the weapons we did this game multiple times like on multiple saves on uh several friends accounts because we all wanted to play together and get each other all set up so even though I didn't do it on different difficulties I have played this like in that span of that one year we probably had like three saves uh, of playing the game to the very end of the main story and maybe the DLC once or twice. And then this is the newest one. For me, it's not really about game mode difficulty. It's more rather about like uh, unlocking loot and uh, how much fun I have on the game. And for me as a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer, it's just making content. Like what those are my kind of goals going into it. Where's Rise's men? Oh, hi, how's it going? Oh shit, ow, he already shot me, already noticed. He heard his buddy getting chopped up. <laughs> this for some reason feels like Mission Impossible. Yeah, so it takes me about like three bullets to get a stack of 16 basically back. So yeah, I'm, I'm basically getting more than I am wasting, which is nice. Get killed. Get shit on! Get shit on! You're bad! <laughs> Hashtag no earnings! <sighs> that sounded probably so damn cringy. What 
have like iron nipples or something? Why did you not die? I shot you in your pectoral regions. This guy's got the iron titties over here. Screw the crimson chin. This is guy's called the iron titties. Why the hell would you not die? He just stood there and took it. <laughs> Fuck you guys, stay down! I'm trying to save ammo, but you guys are making me have to expel it on you. Do I get more if I search a corpse? No, it's just money. Ow. You shot in the dick. All of you get shot in the dick. I think, I think the melee guys um, have probably more health also, by the way, going into this than I thought they did. It's probably because they are melee guys. Get you on the asshole. Apparently this guy's also the, the iron asshole because he won't die either. And I shot him right in the butthole. You guys might be probably being like, oh, we'll just use your melee weapons because uh, if you really want to save ammo, John, it'd probably be more efficient, but I've tried meleeing these guys before, and plus also, it's just not worth it, in my opinion, trying to, like, fidget with it. I'd rather we'll just expel a little bit of ammo trying to just clear them out this way. <laughs> Let me try to keep clearing these guys out. They're down there. Prison gives good loot as well. Yeah, I haven't uh, been to the prison, I don't think, uh, yet. Back when I originally first played this game, my friends basically carried me on their original save because I got into it late. And uh, they gave me, like, uh, some decent loot right off the rip. Because you can drop stuff in this game. It's like one of those types of games, as you would know. And, uh... There is sometimes in instances where I wish that they wouldn't give me that loot. I'm actually kind of like in the opposite in that regard to your friend. Ow. That it? Or we're still gonna go? That's it? Hey, all right, I cleared the tower. So, we're gonna go to Old Town. So all I did was just go in there just to kill those guys. Deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Zara's research. I can't let that happen, and Rice knows it. Okay. So, let me see, it's 3.50, okay. He's back in the spawn. Open. Ah, okay, nice. So, quest lines again. Office outposts. Have you told me that the office building turned rise of slugs into their outposts and is tempted to do an inspection there? Clearly, office outposts. How many of these are outposts? I think it's just this one. Okay. By the way, chat, just friendly reminder, if you are enjoying today's stream and you are new, please definitely drop a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. I'll let you guys know when I'm live streaming next. And if you guys want to see more Dying Light, then just please let me know. Definitely I'm going to be playing Dying Light 2 after I uh, do Dying Light 1. If you are curious, I also do stream Thursday through Sunday. And I start anywhere between 2 and 7 Eastern time. And I stream for anywhere from like 2, 3, 4 hours sometimes. So, just to give you a general idea, that I would let you know, homies. What's a bad guy? Yeah, it is. Hello. Right? You're a bad guy, right? Yeah, okay, I thought, I thought so. For some reason, he just didn't notice me.
So these are the guys earlier that I could have gotten ammo off of, so I'm gonna try to do that now, actually, and get some ammo off these guys. Oh, this just, oh, that's why it was it was the outpost to begin with anyway. Get inside the offices. Maybe we'll also find Dwight Schrute. Ryan started the fire. <laughs> Anybody ever watch The Office? I'm just curious. That that was one of my all-time favorite shows. That's one of the few shows I feel like actually was good the entire way through. Ryan started the fire. <laughs> I also feel like I should put away known Chonsky. He's not really as efficient as I thought he was, but uh, he's one of my only few purple melee weapons. Um, can I upgrade him? No, he's not really that strong. I'm just gonna keep him the way he is. I heard something. Yeah, you did hear something. It's me right outside the elevator. All right, time to kick these guys' ass. Carefully, though, because I am kind of surrounded. Now kick your ass, buddy. Peekaboo. Cue the epic music. <laughs> Poor camping bitch. Kids, do I have? Good day, fleshy mammals. Oh, thank you for the follow, actually. Uh, soup and cake. Thanks, soup and cake. I appreciate you. Now tell me your social security number. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, thanks, man. Thank you for becoming a fleshy mammal. The infinite war for supply drop robot approves of you. Stay, stay the fuck down. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Well, I feel like you could easily auto-tune that, that noise I just made. Oh, oh. It's not like the Gangster's Paradise ah thing that people use as memes all the time. Oh. Ow. Screw you. Maybe I shouldn't hip fire as much as I was? Maybe. Oh shit, hi. Oh, it's titanium or iron nipples over here. The one that would always give me trouble. Someone in here? Someone on the shitter? <laughs> Can you imagine someone taking a shit and I just bust it with an assault rifle? <laughs> That will at least help him make his shit a lot easier. Oh. Found some of the shit they stole. Oh, my rifle ammo's actually now full. Interesting. Alright, he's underneath of me. Where are you? There he is.
Get killed. Yeah, so nice. Now I got full ammo. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Can I get a ha oh, yeah? <laughs> up here right it is the elevator right I take the elevator back out oh it's in the shaft I forgot and then this elevator right I think I think No. Can we take this elevator back up? Where's the damn button? Do I hit? I only follow one on Twitch, might as well follow another. Yeah, man, like, why not explain your uh, Twitch arsenal? Now, I understand that that's actually something that uh, you didn't just drop a follow for no reason, so uh, I will definitely live up to the expectations, my friend. I will not let you down. Uh, where the heck do I gotta go, though? Because this says up here, right? Right? Is, oh, it's the oh, it's the door. Oh, okay. That that makes sense. I I was confused because I thought I'd go in the elevator to push it up manually and then go out the door. I didn't know it's just go out the door. Savvy Crane here. Everything all right? I shouldn't be seeing any more orange vests for a while. You did it. I'll tell everybody. Thank you. Yeah, Crane just killed all of Rise's men, basically. Okay, more side quest. Legless spider. Collect the remaining objects. Oh, I also just realized I should see my rewards here. I didn't realize that. And any... I've never, I never have seen that. I guess we'll find out what that Annie gun is. Okay. Collect. Uh, how do I escape? Out here. They're all like right here. Okay. Good to know. Um, let's see if we can try to figure out where all these stuff are for, uh, maybe the quest is creating the gun. I hear that boomer vomit thing behind me. It's also almost nighttime, so. Maybe I might want to sleep in one of the safe houses? I'm not sure, but we'll see. We'll see if I can make it quick. That way, that way I shouldn't even have to use it. I like how that the game, by the way, is like completely like distraught and stuff like that, and then just because of the LEDs, this looks all fancy. Like this doesn't, for some reason, seem to match up, but that's just me. Oh, here's one of the things. Aw, uh, damn, it's got that zombie baby again. I hate killing these things, man. Plus, also, like, other than them being disturbing, I can just get in trouble for showing that on YouTube. Because for those of you guys that don't know, other than my Twitch channel, I re-upload these to my YouTube. And, uh, Twitch is just a lot more forgiving than YouTube is when it comes to certain things being shown. It's probably this. I almost had that first try. That's not what I needed to find. I'm surprised. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Ow. Ow! No. Let me read my chat for a goddamn second game. Holy shit. What weapon is that? This? Oh, this is uh, the angel sword. And uh, right now I'm trying to get another item. It's just that I'm not sure what else is back here. Because technically it sets me up in three different spots, but I was only over there because it kept telling me it was. Is it this? I'm just, I'm, I'm just randomly grabbing stuff and jumping. There it is. I see it. I can't pick it up though. Come on. Pick it up. I'm dead. Oh. Shut the, shut the, oh, you still got through? Bullshit. Oh, you get your head exploded off now. I want to see if I can try to get this last thing before the sun goes down. Oh, that hurt. That's the last piece. I also hear the crying child again, so I'm just gonna skip that and just go straight to David. I don't want to keep showing that thing, because it's gonna just get... It's depressing to have to kill the, the zombie baby, plus also as well as I just don't want to get in trouble with YouTube by showing that constantly. about that there for a second. Like, how close am I to a safe house? I am here. Yeah, I want to see if I can try to get to this next safe house. It's about to be night. Shit. Here we go. Good. Whew! Alright, nice job, chat. Unnoticed. Just like a Reddit's love life. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, actually. Let me see if I can get down there before they do anything. Hello? Oh! I had no idea I could go for a type of execute like that. Oh, God, Crane! I had no idea that, like... <laughs> like, I didn't... I, I mean, I knew I could do the head stomp thing on, on the humans. I just found that out now, but I had no idea that Crane could, like, jump in and, like, stab their heart. zombie. Like, that's pretty ridiculous. Is 
This is my loot box, though, bitch. Because I am the fleshy mammal. You are not. See, like, even things like the grappling hook just saving you from fall damage is a huge plus. Can you not, please? I'm, I'm so gonna run out of medkit soon. Dude, the amount of hits that these things can do in, in, like, a second is ridiculous. Unless you fight them, they will just chase you to the ends of the earth, and it pisses me off. I wish you could outrun them. I hate how I can't ignore them. I have to expel my weapon's uh, power, and I don't want to. <laughs> Ow. Fuck you. Fuck. Really? Okay. You want to play that game, huh? All right, chat. Let's give these guys a little bit of a lesson. Not not have them BS us. Headshots are also one shot, so that probably would be a reason about why I wasn't able to kill that guy as quickly as I did when he, I said he had metal nipples or iron nipples. Okay. For you. Yeah, sorry, your head's gone now. Hi, David. Thanks. I owe you. You're welcome, David. Who are you? The crane, the spider sent me. Why? Oh, this is Spider's guy. He ran into Rice's people, but he'll be all right. Like, I brought the things he was collecting for you. You're a lifesaver. Thanks, Crane. This is really going to make a difference. So, tell me what this is all about. Oh, I thought you knew. Well, I know it involves the source of the epidemic. Yes, the meteorite. I know where it landed. You think the epidemic came from space? You think that's a coincidence? You have some proof of this? I did. Rice's men just took off with my last samples. I was going to send Spider out for some more. Could you do it? Now we're trying to figure out the, the virus came from outer space. All right. Nice. My meteorite samples? Is this actually a thing in the game? Meteorite samples? Is there actually a meteorite back here? Here, let, let's see. Right, I've reached the site. I don't see anything. All right, listen. The meteor shards react to green light. That makes them easier to spot. The Azmat guys put up some lamps in a generator. They should still be working. Oh, hell. So putting on the generator attracts the zombies. Great. Can they also be in the water? Is that what it is? The bubble goes this far, so... These? Find it with the light? Can we not do this? The zombie's literally cheesing me. She's camping and waiting for me to swing first so she can counter me. Okay, I'm just gonna take its guts just so that way I'm camoed. 
Because also now I have a thing too where if I'm camoed I can still fight and I interrupt my camo. There they are. I think. Oh, these are the plants. They're, they gotta be green, not purple, right? They're green. Does this camo last a while? Hopefully it does. Green. Chat, let me know if you see any of the uh, green rocks, and if so, I'll pick them up, because right now this is what we're looking for, is green uh, asteroid samples. green is it on the zombie it said near the lights it hmm I think there's one in the water. Here, let's see. Is it obvious it's in the water? Here, let, let, let's take a look, chat. We'll see. Uh, asteroids. I'm thinking, is, is it supposed to be obvious? Is it supposed to be subtle? We'll see. I didn't pre-look up this video ahead of time for like where the asteroids would be, and I don't even know if the spawns are preset, so we'll have to uh, take a minute chat to look. Maybe one of the things we can do is just figure out where the lights just point. Wait. Aha! I see something. There's a spot, like there's a rock sticking out of another rock right here. Look. Meteorite. That's not green though, like I thought it was. That's like a rock just within another rock. Like this one is just a crater, like a little tiny piece. So it's not as obvious as I thought it was. I was looking for like neon green element 115 type of rocks. Let me see where the, the light was pointing, because that kind of gave it away. This does point to the other half. Like, where the water is. Is it across the water, like, over here? Maybe? Is that the very bottom of the rock? Like, like, uh, like down here? Or we'll see. Because there is a light pointing down here. Huh. But that's this light and it goes right here. Is it these? Any of these these nearby rocks? Let's just go straight down as far as we can without uh, diverting. Anything down here at all? Asteroids. We're, we're gonna check the uh, other one really quickly, and then what's gonna happen is that right after we end up getting the uh, the one light area like looked at, we're gonna then just like look up a YouTube video because they're probably preset.
A lot of stuff on this guy. Like, a lot of stuff on this guy. Like, holy crap. Do they make a sound? Screw you, buddy. I just kicked him off of a mountain, lol. Maybe these uh, asteroids make a sound, because I might be hearing a static sound. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to look it up. It makes it just easier. <laughs> So let's see where this guy finds these. Welcome back, Soup and Cake. I'm just, uh, trying to look up right now some, uh, asteroid locations here by... Copying a YouTube video. Oh, Survivor Sense. I completely forgot about that. That's actually a thing in this game. I, I forgot. <laughs> These? This will probably also help me out as well. I didn't think twice about using Survivor Sense. I haven't, like, really used this at all, like, the whole game. I don't know if that will help us find asteroids. <gasps> Two are on top of rocks. Turn on the generator. They appear. I did turn on the generator, actually. But, like, they didn't appear like I thought they were. I thought they were going to be literally neon green, and that's not what happened. Oh, wait. How, how was this off? Did it get turned off? I should probably stop pulling this trigger. Yeah, it's attracting zombies. There's one. Yeah, now I see it. And that's more of, like, a blue color, though. For some reason, it wasn't on, I guess, but I remember hitting the button. Did the zombies turn it off? I I'm wondering, do they turn it off here? We'll have to see. Do they? It must, because I don't know why I would do that. Either way, though, thanks. Turn on the generator, they appear, and yes, they turn it off. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you for clarifying that, because I would not know that otherwise. Yeah, they do turn it off. Okay, so that makes sense then. There's another one. Thank, thank you, by the way. This helps out a shit ton. I had zero idea they turned it off. All right, I need two left. Off. 
This is gonna suck when I'm eventually gonna run out of just like med kits and then I have like nothing to defend myself or heal myself rather. I hate these virals so much. I hate how that they chase you endlessly, can get like five hits on, and then they also can dodge you at the exact same time. They're, they're just too annoying. Like 90 to 40? I mean, that was like that was in seconds. Yeah, I know mine is already broken, but I don't know if there's a way I can fix it or repair it. Is it just permanently broken? I should just stop using it. There it is. Because, like, I don't know if there's any way, like, to make that, like, not broken or something. You were right about one being in the water, by the way, chat. Got it. Bring the samples to David. Okay. Uh, it's perma broken, so like the floor planks you can easily- wait on. It's perma broken. They are like the floor planks you can easily get from the trash piles. Once broken, you can't repair it. So I should just not keep it anymore. So should I just dismantle it or something? I understand that was supposed to be just a freebie legendary. Yeah, I figured. I just didn't want to delete it right away just in case, like, somebody said, like, oh, you can, uh, repair it, so I was just trying to be better safe than sorry. You recognize him? That's one of Get him. Okay, David, here's your asteroids. Alright, I've got your meteor fragments. Good. I'll load the shards into the accelerator chamber, and we'll be ready to take the fight to the reptilians. Whoa, wait, whoa. Who, who are we taking the fight to? Okay, technically they're Gadoids from Orion, but Reptilians is a recognized euphemism, even if it's a bit uh, redneck. Uh huh. And these Gadoids did, did what now? <laughs> Please, they came to Earth eons ago and formed the Order of the Illuminati. Now they want to dominate us and spread around the entire fourth level. They have been turning people into slaves, but now you're going to stop them because you have this. I do. Remember. It's not going to cut through a fast variable gamma shield, but short of that, it should deatomize anything out there. Right. Got it. Sure, David, sure. I estimate you can count on 500 charges before you need to replace the meteor shards. So go get them, soldier. Send them to hell. Envoyez les à l'enfer. Gee, thanks, David. Thanks a lot. So, what is this gun do? So what is this? What the hell? What? 
What does this do? There's a guy down here. Hold on, let me attack this guy. He's right down there, right? Yeah. Oh, oh never mind. I, I fucking died. God damn it. Why would it not let me use my damn grappling hook? That gun is pointless. Yes, the Illuminati is behind everything, and uh, Greer is just a hoax, and the military is just a lie. It shoots air, I believe. Wait, you seriously? Oh, so it's a glorified fart gun. We won't survive the week without suppressors. Stop. It's literally just an air gun. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh my god, you're kidding me. It's literally just an air gun. It's so useless! I thought like it at least would like stun them by like flying them backward, but it literally does nothing. <laughs> Alright guys, alien gun only playthrough and dying light. No, I'm just kidding, I'd rather would just never play the game again. Bunker, uh... Okay. I talked to Beeb. I got like five medkits left, so I really have to go on a medkit run sooner or later. In fact, actually, do I have any medkits I can make? I can make 15, yeah. Wait. See, I wish I could just, like, I, I wish I could just say, hey, create all, but I have to create all these manually. Chaz, is there a way I can loophole this and just create a whole bunch of these? Save myself some time. Someone says it slightly stuns Volatiles. I would like to, to, to see someone try. There's zero way. I think it's just someone trying to justify the gun being a joke. Like, literally, my, my, my ass is stronger than that gun would be. I could, like, sit on the zombies with my ass and break their face with, with my ass weight. That's how, like, weak that that gun is. You, you can put you can make my ass a weapon in the game and call it the the Johnny dump truck or something And literally all it is just my ass on a stick and you just smack him around with it Oh crap I forgot that the guy was in front of me Can we not kill me? Thank you for nine viewers in the chat, by the way, everybody. I love you all. Thank you. It'd be really cool if we actually get to ten viewers inside the Dying Light stream. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you're uh, here for today, because I know some of you guys might not necessarily talk, but I thought I would just engage you guys in conversation. And you're just going to be watching only? I completely understand. Have I not talked to you yet? Crane, I'm Mort Norris. Worked in the town hall before the outbreak. Modernization and maintenance of hydraulic infrastructure department. Oh, one hell of a job, I'm telling you. Okay, okay, okay. My kids these days. Uh, okay. So, you wanted to ask me something? Yes, I was supposed to get water running in my neighborhood again. But I hmm. can't because of those damn undead and it's killing me. Could I persuade you to do it, please? It would be a great civic gesture. Appreciated by tens, maybe dozens of people. Oh, what would I need to do? Not gonna lie, this guy sounds pretty convincing. I'm inclined to help Mort. That's all. It'll be such a help. It'll even get our beautiful fountain up and running again. I also just like his accent too. What do do then? Great, great, fantastic. You just have to get to these three pumping stations and switch. Yeah, that's one of the things I also didn't account for is that there probably just some NPCs I have yet to go to get to get a side quest. See, now there's that side quest. Plus, also uh, at the tower and stuff like that, there was also some like side quests, like by just going up and like picking like 
uh, stuff off of the uh, the dartboard. I should actually head back to um, the tower and stuff like that at some point and also look into those. I need to look into a lot of the uh, different areas. Make sure I have every side quest ideally before the end of the game. I don't have to do everything in the game to be satisfied, but uh, more the merrier for sure though. Is he in here? Open. Wakey, wakey. Yes, what is it? Are you Mr. Thabit Erdl, the town clerk? That was my title. However, all city authority has been dissolved by the GRE and the federal government. My title does not exist anymore. And therefore, I am no longer required or allowed to provide any services to you or anyone else. In conclusion, goodbye. Not so fast, Mr. Ertl. The dissolution order requires all local officials to be at the service of the GRE and the provisional authority as needed. Are you with the GRE? I'm looking for information about a large supply cache hidden somewhere in the city. Ah, you mean the bunker. Well, if you wish to take possession of it, you'll have to lodge a 201 needs of agency form, JP-401 details of operation form, also a 606 compulsion of special authority form, Oh, and uh, 302B, Declaration of Emergency Functions form. That last one has a three-day turnaround in the best of circumstances, which these are certainly not. I need it now. Well, then I suggest you employ the traditional method of accelerating the government process. Which is what? Bribery, of course. I need the official seal of the mayor embossing stamp. The mayor was last seen at the hotel. Find his room, and you should find the seal. I don't really care for this guy. Lazy son of a bitch. See, like, here's the thing is that, like, if you really think about it, I mean, like, rules are just, like, a, a thing to keep people, like, to, like, have, like, a kind of flow of order of things. But if shit hits the fan, like, I don't know, like, in a zombie apocalypse, I don't think necessarily we have to get the mayor or the government's permission first. Just saying. How about you just end up being a nice guy? I mean, at the end of the day, we all are just people, so... Back your people up. It's the human race, not the zombies, so... But then again, though, there is people like Ryze that are just psychopaths trying to make things complicated for everybody. But most people, I feel like, would be unified in this situation. Uh, Soup and Cake says, I'm heading out. Good luck with your run, man. Thank you, I, my friend. I appreciate you. Yeah, uh, Soup and Cake. I live stream Thursday through Sunday. So, uh, since today's Sunday, I'll be live again for Dying Light again, uh, on Thursday. So, uh, hopefully I'll see you then. Uh, thank you, by the way, Marcus, for letting him, uh, know that you, uh, just saying goodbye to him. And, uh, Soup and Cake, we'll see you soon. Find the mayor's seal. My guess is that the mayor's bitch ass is already dead. Can't forget about an energy bar. I love how that if there's an energy bar, Crane always finds an excuse to eat it. I'd be careful not to burn myself. Here, let's move the bookshelf. Maybe this has got where the card is. Okay. 
kill you. Try to go all the way to the very bottom of the uh, the hotel, it seems. Oh, it's, one, it's a whole bunch of these volatile, uh, or viral guys again. How many is it? One. Okay, come here. Kill you. Yo, Mayor. You back here, buddy? It's very quiet. At least I can use my grappling hook there. Oh, he did break down the door. Yeah, the uh, the stomping ability is definitely very helpful for killing some of these zombies. I'm very glad I have it. This is probably the most accurate down the line I've done the whole thing is agility. These other ones are just kind of scattered all over the place. In fact, actually, why do I put the riot shield as my other gun slot? Because this doesn't have any ammo right now, so... Or wait, it's only the shield a uh, and inventory slot with one. Isn't that what it is? Or have I just yet to make a shield? Create a shield? Shield. No, yeah, it's just an inventory thing. So why do I just put this here as like a, uh, a thing to put on my back, you know? Or is that not how it works? Yeah, it's the, okay, it's those things. Makes sense, but switch it out for that. So now I have a shield probably on my back, which will probably be good if I, uh, I'm not using the grappling hook going forward. Where would I be if I were the mayor's seal? Maybe hidden? I'm thinking of a variety of different spots it could be hidden in. Maybe it's the box? The only thing that's locked. Very well might be. Yeah, I figured. I really also underestimate how many things require lockpicks. I can't imagine how inconvenient it would be to try to like do a lot of these missions with like low lockpick count. Just being like you're close to the very end of the mission. Oh, sorry, you can't complete. You don't have a lockpick. <laughs> Head out of Sector Zero. This is actually going a lot more swimmingly than I thought it would go. 
I'm very happy about. Right, let's, let's take it back. To Alley oop. I free I've so got to stop injuring myself like god damn it. Especially since the medkits can heal for a lot more than what I'm actually healing for. I just don't like having not max health because I don't know if I'm ever going to get into an engagement where I need it because I won't be able to apply another one before I get into the engagement. Like hypothetically, yes, I'm wasting medkits, but I don't want to be having an instance where I get into a situation where I can't heal and, and I would have lived if I just had like more passive health or more health on me before I like ran to those guys because maybe I could just like outrun them or something and then it doesn't happen because I I, I wasn't pre-healed. If you know what I mean. Oh, here he is. Ah, wonderful. I promise to abuse this seal to the fullest extent of my corruption. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> even better, he's going through the, the wall. <laughs> Both that line and also the delivery by him running through the wall made that ten times funnier than it needed to be. And that the wretched poor would then invade us like a wave of locusts. So you locked it up. The bunker is under the town hall. I can monitor your progress on the city services band. Radio me if you need some paperwork from the office of the mayor. I'll be generating reams of it. <sighs> that was pretty damn funny. Right, actually here. Is it in the bottom half? Probably. No, we know it's in the upper half. Yeah, this is that one thing where it's like this little lip here. Which I'm glad I have the grappling hook now because this makes it so much easier. Oh, it's underneath? Oh, that's what it was. Aha. This might be the last side quest I can pull off before I actually have to um, go to work. Because I actually have to work at 6pm chat. And it's about to be 5. Which is what normally I do on uh, the case that I do work when I have a live stream the same day. So, probably what's going to happen is that since I probably won't be able to, in confidence, start another mission without, uh, not finishing it, I'll probably just, uh, end a little bit sooner, just so that way it's not, uh, filling in time unnecessarily, and also not, uh, starting something I can't finish. So, just a friendly reminder then, before we do wrap things up with this last mission, to definitely drop a follow if you guys have enjoyed and you're new around here. We continue dying like more on this Thursday. Okay. So this thing's got one more repair left for this Angel Blade. At least the good news though is I permanently have the blueprint now though. It's just gonna be a matter of the weapon now this time. Okay, I gotta lockpick this. Let's use Noam Chomsky more a little bit, why not? It's not a completely useless weapon, it's just, uh, not the best weapon.
He's just really fucking slow. Uh oh. I thought that those guys were down here, not up there coming down here. Here, hold on, let me let me put some guts on. Camouflage myself, you know. Okay. Mostly all the way to the right. Yeah. Sabbath, are you listening? Oh, if you're in the town hall, could you filch me some stationery from the city council president's chambers? Where's the pass card to enter the bunker? Hasn't he opened the bunker himself? Regretfully, Captain Halim's interest in material things is no more. He frequently shambles around K Street with several other former police officers. Perhaps they have some vague recollection of their fraternity. Okay, so I got I gotta now find the zombie police officer and grab the key and then open the bunker. So actually, the way that this is going, I might actually just finish it right on time. Now, don't have to worry about ending earlier dead space. Okay, so he is somewhere around here. Get the bunker key. So he's probably just one of these random police officer zombies. Oh, is he the big police officer? Or is that not a police officer, technically? But of course the police officer's next to the big dude. Here, hold on, I just, let me do this. If I can, uh oh. Damn it, he actually loopholed me. I was trying to get above him. Or at least get some distance. Shit, he can still hit me. I am so glad I have this assault rifle. This is the other police officer. I think it is. Yeah, uh, no, it was the big guy. Okay, that's what I thought. So technically he was a police officer, he just doesn't necessarily look like it just due to his giant juggernaut armor. Okay. Let's try this chat. Head to the basement. Do
I was wondering why I heard noise down here. Yeah, this dumb Chomsky is just slow is what it is. Like, really, the only way that I can make this useful anymore is to, just to combine it with, uh, the stomp. There's the... There he is. By order of the mayor, the entire contents of this bunker now belongs to me. Get away from it, thief! What? You... Oh, really, you idiot? Oh, you want to really go? Seriously. Yeah, that was not a fight you were gonna win, you little coward. <laughs> you really think you could cheese me last second like that? Alright, let's see what's in this bunker. Hopefully there's some decent loot in here. Go all the way to the right. Lockpick medium. Yeah, we might just end up spending the rest of the time just looting. That might lead to somewhere, so I don't want to head there yet. Keep going this way. Craft a new item. Okay, so I was going the right way, so it's actually a good thing I went this way, because now I can actually end up getting the one thing I did want. Can I not go in here? Oh, it's barricaded. Uh, do I climb? Yeah, I climb. There's an event. That was actually kind of smooth. I jumped to slide. Isan, this is Crane. I'm in a supply bunker under the town hall. I think we hit the jackpot. That's great news, Crane. Thank you. Did you actually get that beat to help you? Ooh. Yeah, but I had to kill him in the end. I totally understand. Sounds like you were expecting that. <laughs> A lot of loot. Yeah, there would be like a lot of food and shit like that down here. Nice. Go upstairs. Turn on valve near hotel. Turn on water valve near hall town. Turn on the one near the canals. So I'm turning on all the water valves now. Oh, there's that boomer guy. Leave town hall. Unless I, unless I wasn't supposed to leave. Restore water flow. Here, let's see. Okay, they're all like right here, so... I've got about like five minutes. I can do this quick as long as I act fast. So let's turn on some water. But if I don't... Technically, if this is the, at the beginning of a new mission, which I think it actually is... Um, yeah, I think this is actually the beginning of another mission. I just don't, I, you know, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it here because this looks like a new mission and not the other mission, even if it technically is within the same chain of events. Uh, and what I want to do is that I'll just save that this for next time, just so that way the cutscenes flow more naturally. 
So yeah, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap things up here. So I just want to say is that thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys end up enjoying today's stream. If you did, just one last time, please end up dropping a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. I'll let you know when I'm live streaming next. I stream Thursday through Sunday in a variety of games such as Dying Light. Uh, I also play things like Minecraft occasionally. Right now, I'm also playing Jackbox. Have you ever heard of that? Again, that's also quite fun. I love playing that with followers. But uh, yeah, guys, so look forward to more Dying Light coming this Thursday. And if you're watching this as a potential YouTube video, also please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you guys end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video or live stream for the most unique content creator you guys are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you, and peace out. I will see you guys sometime soon.